Hey guys, it's Hey Sophia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a pet shop. So shout out down below to Kara the Wolf, Lulu Lu, and Casey is here who all requested that I build a pet shop. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So pet shops are a little different in Australia compared to other places that I've seen in America and in Europe. Typically the pet stores that I've seen in Australia, if they're not inside a shopping centre, they tend to be in these barns. A good example is if you want to look up on Google Pet Barn Australia, that will give you a really good idea of what pet shops kind of look like here. They're just these big open barns. So my pet shop design today will kind of be that, but a little bit more personalised than their one. So I'm going to have a really cute little design on the outside that's all like pet themed. And yeah. So the base of my building I am using the dark grey like concrete block and I have gone 20 blocks wide and about 23 blocks long. You can make yours bigger than this, you can make yours smaller than this, wider than this, it really depends on what you like. I've just got the dimensions on screen now. But really you just want to play around with what works best for you. Maybe you're in America, so I know in America you guys typically have the pet stalls which have like three kind of sections to them coming off the side. You can like design your pet shop to look like that. The idea is more just to show you what to put in a pet shop and how you can design the exterior. So I'm going to go two blocks high of this darker grey and then about seven, six blocks high of the lighter grey one here. Just to have a kind of like different definition of colour going on and we will add some more detail to the roof as well. But I'll speed up ahead, there we go. So I have finished all my walls and we're going to add the front detail to the front section of our roof. So you want to mark about five in and just put your markers like this. We will then fill it in two blocks high. And to top it off, we will be using the quartz block to add some roof trimmings. This just adds a really nice, like another color to match with the gray blocks. And you don't have to use grey blocks as well, maybe you want a pink pet store so maybe you'll do a purple trim down the bottom or pink. It's completely up to what you would like to do, maybe you want a green pet store because you're just doing all reptile type things. Maybe you want red and blue because you're doing parrots. You could maybe, maybe doing just a orange tabby cat pet store so you just do a orange building. It's completely up to you how you'd like to do your pet store, this can be completely personalised. But the next thing I'm going to do is make my little logo on the outside. So I've tried to go for a mixed idea here of dogs, cats, fish and birds. They are typically what you find in pet stores in Australia. You also have reptiles like snakes or lizards but you don't really have reptiles in Minecraft so I'm just going for the animals that you do have. You can catch fish. There is squid as well. So I'm just making my door marking here and just doing an outlay so I can clearly see it, but we'll go over that and fix it later. And it also just marks the middle of our build for now so we can go and do our logo. So for the logo, I'm using a mix of blocks. I'm using the white concrete block, the quartz slab block. I'm also using the brown and grey terracottas as well as the blue, green, yellow, red and orange concrete blocks. The first animal I'm going to make, I'm just going to go up to about here, whoopsie daisy or preset, but I'm going to be making a cat. So this is also the cat face design, very similar to, to it that I did in my cat cafe so I will link that down below. But this is a really simple and really easy cat head to make. You just want to make some blocks for ears. I've made this a bit long though. There we go. And there is our cat face. So I'm not doing any eyes or noses. I'm just trying to get the shape and it really gets the idea across. For the dog, you want to go four blocks wide and then at the base, you want to go two blocks down. You want to give your dog a bit of a bigger face than the cat. And I'm also going to give it this patchy little cute face here. So it's got like a different coat scheme. The next animal is the fish and I'm going to be doing a goldfish here. 
So you want to be making this line and I'm doing it also in a way that you're overlapping the animal so you can kind of see the fish looks like it's behind the cat. And then our final animal is the parrot which I'm going to use the green, red, blue and yellow concrete blocks. So I'm trying to make a tropical looking parrot here so I've got a blue face, a red little cheek and a yellow beak. You could also, you don't have to do that, you could do an all blue head, you could make your parrot pink, you could make your fish blue, maybe you want your cat to be grey, you can just change this completely how you like. But that's the logo done and I'm now just going to reframe the doors like I mentioned and I'm going to use the grey concrete. And then we're going to start doing a trimming kind of like overhang for our doors as well. So I'm just grabbing the court slab so I'm matching the roof block and I'm just trying to make this kind of like curvy little frame over the doorway just as a sunshade as people are walking outside. We'll continue this all the way to the end and then use iron bars to make our little support poles. So far though I think this is looking really cute and like the pet barns that are kind of like here in Australia. I will add some more detail to the outside though with the addition of a little mini car park and some trees but I will show that towards the end of the video. But that is basically the outside of our pet shop done now. The final thing I'm going to be adding to mine is the footpath out the front here. So I am going to use the stone slab because it kind of looks like a like a smooth concrete pathway type block. If you know what I mean when you look at concrete pathways in the city, they tend to have those lines where the concrete has like been poured. And I think this stone slab is a really great block to replicate that, so that's what I'm going to go for today. I'm just going to do this three blocks wide to make a really good wood footpath. But that is my footpath done now, and I'm going to focus on the middle a little bit. The first thing I'm going to do is just fill in my roof with the quartz slab, just to be uniform with the rest of my build. There we go, so that's all filled in now. And the next thing I'm going to do is just focus on the flooring and I will be using the grey concrete powder for my flooring. The reason I will be using that is it has a really nice polished concrete look. So typically in pet stores you will not have carpet, you'll have some type of flooring that's really easy to clean because they do allow dogs and other animals into the store. So you need to easily be able to clean up messes in case if they happen. Another great floor replacement would be something like the clay block or any other concrete block that you would like. Something else that is kind of in the barn pet stores you see here is some of them will actually have windows up the top so I'm just adding a couple of windows for a little bit more detail to the outside as well. So that is pretty much the build done now. The final thing that I'm going to start showing you but not completely do, I will finish it off and you'll see it in completion, is because the barns in Australia are really quite rustic, they don't typically have a roof like this, it's normally just literally like the steel roof on top, I just was adding some vents and you'll see it in a little second here. So I mentioned earlier I was going to do a car park so I've made this little fake car park at the front and it really like fills in the theme of my pet store. If you come in I've decorated it in a very typical way that you would see in Australia. So I've got my vents on the roof there and my hang down lights. Over here I have my little adoption thing. Now in Australia a lot of pet stores are moving away from selling dogs and cats. A lot of the time now they will only allow you to adopt cats out of the pet store and if you want a dog or a purebred you have to go to a breeder or a animal shelter so that's why I have that there. 
Now these are my fish tanks here with the little gap up the top so the pet store workers can put their little nets in underneath. I have gone black for the trimming because they tend to paint them black to make the glass of the fish tank stand out a lot more. This is something I see a lot when I go looking at fish tanks because I do actually have a really big fish tank at home. Now I have a little pen here for a little doggy. Up the back I've got some dog toys or cat toys. I tried to choose some skulls that were kind of like pet toy themed or ball themed but you can change that. I've got some bird cages. I've got some of the pet furniture here. Now I have a lot more pet furniture designs that I've done in previous videos so I will link those down below if you'd like to see a whole range of pet furniture that you could do to fill your pet store. Just some more toys by the counter. And I've also got a scale next to the counter which you'll see in a second as well. Now the pet stores I go to personally for my little dogs and my fish as well. Typically all like this they'll have bowls by the entryway, they'll have a scale next to the counter here so you can weigh your dog, there's toys by the counter. They always have these really tall shelves which they put all the beds on. Now you can design the inside of your store however you like. I know in America it's a little bit different. You tend to sell more animals than we do. So you can really change this up to be completely however you like. I'm just showing what it typically looks like here when I go to a pet store in Australia. But that is pretty much all the basics. Food toys, shelter, fish, maybe some adoptive animals that you can pick up. It's really up to you what you want to put on the inside. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video, but like always, thank you. Bye.